So we are headed on a pretty awesome recovery today. I'm not really sure what to expect. I got a call from an insurance company and they gave me a location of where a missing truck is at. So this truck's been missing for about two and a half months. They couldn't find it. Driver lost his brakes. It went off a cliff. He ejected, didn't get hurt luckily, but the truck was missing because we've had such a large snowfall in Utah this year that they finally figured out where it's at. So we've got a GPS coordinate on the location of the truck. And we'd like to thank today's sponsor of this video, Onyx Off-Road. We're gonna be using their offline maps to find this truck and get it recovered and get it back to the shop. So we brought along some friends today. We've got our buddies from Cleveland, Ohio. We've got Andy and Gary from boltsandnuts.com. They're tagging along with us. It's their first recovery and their first time ever being in Utah. So it's gonna be kind of fun. We've also got Hillbilly and Steve. They're in the F550 ahead of us. They're bringing the skid loader on tracks with the 15,000 pound winch box. And we're gonna go and get this truck pulled out. All right, so we're gonna stop and grab some diesel and a few snacks, and then we're gonna be headed up Fairview Canyon. So of course, adventure always starts at Maverick. Oh. Well, hello. We're gonna fill the truck. I had to shut that up. We're gonna fill the truck up and we're gonna get the skid loader all fueled up right now. It's a speaker. I did. Just put your hand over it. What do you mean, whoa? You're okay. Why do you say whoa? Because you pulled back far too far. I unpulled backwards and it's fine fine. All we have is a waypoint location, so we're gonna go up there and try to find it. So we'd like to thank today's sponsor of this video, Onyx Off-Road. We're gonna be going offline using their maps to find this truck. I think it's about 80 feet off of a cliff. Should be pretty fun. We're getting pretty close. I can see the highway patrolman sitting at the top of where the truck is at. Looks like it's about 80 to 100 feet off the road. So what we'll do is we'll get parked, we'll get down to the truck, inspect it, and get a game plan on how we're gonna get it pulled up the mountain. What do you use? He uses So we're showing them our Onyx Off-Road. So we actually use the Onyx Off-Road app to track the trail. We've gone 22.6 miles, took us 37 minutes and five seconds. Wow. But I'm offline right now. With no and internet. I, with no internet. So I downloaded an offline map. I've got a waypoint set right there. That's where the truck's at. We're gonna go figure out a game plan on how to get it out of the bottom of the ravine. We're gonna be going and hiking down to this thing and really getting a game plan. So luckily, we got our buddies from boltsandnuts.com. They're making the trek with us. First time in Fairview Canyon and the first time ever using Onyx Off-Road. That's uh, Look at that. So helpful and really cool. We're doing so many firsts today. All right, so the reason we're using Onyx Off-Road is about a month ago, you guys might remember us, when we went to check on the bulls, we got lost in the snowcat. Whiskers didn't know where to take us. Had we had Onyx Off-Road, we wouldn't have been lost and we would have been able to backtrack and get out of there safely. We told them the story, we made a deal with them, and we're bringing Onyx Off-Road to all of our viewers. So by clicking the short link right here, and in the pinned comment or in the description, we're gonna be giving you guys 20% off for one full year for Onyx Off-Road. So that takes it from like 30 something to 20 to, let me find out back exactly how much, hold on. By using late and 20 at checkout, you guys are gonna be able to save 20% off of your 12 month subscription to Onyx Off-Road. That is an awesome deal. So you guys need to head over there, click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below. Go sign up for Onyx Off-Road and don't get lost like we did. It's gonna save somebody's life. Let's go down and figure out this truck. Don't hurt yourself. Dig your heels in. Gary's a mountain goat and he's doing great. I am not a mountain goat. Probably that really hurt. You didn't bounce very well. <laughs> now that we're down here, you can actually see exactly where the truck came because the truck's right there. I bet that was fun. I'm gonna go that way. Me too. This is where the billy goat went. That's elk Be a billy goat. I believe in you. Man that comes from no mountains, be one with the mountain. I come from an office chair, far, far away. <laughs> All right. All right, so what are the odds that the license plate is gone? I'm thinking, I'm thinking this ain't coming out that, out that way. Oh, that's like a road right there. Hillbilly. <laughs> no way. You guys, you guys be, be careful. careful. Look, at look at this. Be careful. He almost, he almost made, made it, it to the road. All right, so definitely, look at that. Dude. Oh, there's boulders. We got four. I'm thinking coming down is going to be our best bet. 
Dude, what if, it, what if we move those branches and it just comes all the way through? That'd, That'd be a bad day, bears. That is a bad day already. Let's, let's walk, walk this road. road. Yeah, let's walk this road. See what we gotta move. So we've got, we've got our forks and our winch. So we could probably clear this trail enough to get that truck onto this road and get it out. So that's what we're really going to focus on. Because <laughs> I think that's going to be easier than taking it back up the road. So we got a few rocks here, a few rocks here. These are really big rocks, hillbilly. We can move them. And the Highland Cone gave us permission. Yes, he did. Someone walked out of here. Probably them guys. Yep, we got footprints. So somebody's been in here. You may need to go up and just start getting the... I would bring the winch down here with you. Yeah. We found where the road comes out. So we're gonna go get the skid loader and we're gonna bring it up in and we're gonna try to move some rocks and try to get the skid loader in there. Cause if we can get that truck down another 25 feet, it's basically a road that we can just tow it out. These guys are excited. It's their first time in Utah. First hike, it's snowing. You're getting like all aspects of Utah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be sunshiny by tomorrow. And seeing these mountains and walking through them, it's the real deal out here. So we walked the road. We got a bunch of rocks we got to move, but I think we're going to bring it down through the trees and hit this road. And we're going to just clear rocks out of the way. So Hillbilly is going to get the skid loader. And we're going to make ourselves a pathway out of here rather than winching it all the way up that and shutting the main road down. If it doesn't work, we'll try something else. I don't think we're moving that rock, but these ones look a little bit more manageable to move. So we have permission from the highway patrol to move rocks and hopefully it works and use the skid to just pull it, the weight of the skid steer is gonna stop it. I'm kind of excited to get this thing from there to here. That tree line is what stopped it. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, then there's a whole other drop off to a river. So that's cool. All right, so I just made it to the truck and the brake pedal is completely to the floor and it is not coming up. This would have been a scary, scary ride. It was in reverse. I think he tried to throw it in park before it went off the edge, but it was, yeah, that brake pedal's all the way to the floor. Kind of crazy. Looks like it was a wild ride, but we're gonna throw the e-brake on and rip it down through these trees and get it out of here. Um, once we get it down to the main road, down here, we're gonna try to get it to start. He was in the on position, so the battery's dead. Hopefully this isn't too difficult. Probably out of gas. I didn't even think of that it probably is out of gas or the motor seized up or something. So we might be pulling this thing out. Pedals all the way to the floor. And it was in reverse. I'm gonna walk out on a limb here and say that this wouldn't have been fun to ride down. Oh, literally, I'm on a limb. <laughs> Hillbilly's gonna come and try to move these rocks. Hopefully he doesn't tumble down that hill. Watch your face. Oh, that was like it's nothing. I literally thought he wasn't gonna be able to move that. That almost went in the river. There you go, there you go, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> so we do have permission to move rocks, in case anybody's upset. That's plenty of room. This I think we can just go over. Hey, look at that. We made a pass. Lift it, don't try to push it. Now here, Hillbilly, let's just move this one. And then we'll just grab that one and the one behind it. We can come right straight through here. Okay, whoa, good. Bye bye tree, watch out. By doing this, we're doing the forest to serve a favor by getting rid of all dead trees. Go grab the winch. Let's bring it over here and then we'll hook the winch up. We'll drop the forks. One thing we do want to do is make sure when we're coming through here, we, we're hugging this side. So as long as I get guided, we don't go there, I think we'll be fine. I'm sure it's out of diesel, but once we get it flat, we'll just try to start it. This is going to be exciting. We got to rip that thing th through a couple trees. And once we get down here, we're, we're home free. We just got to get it out of here. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're gonna hook up the hydraulics and we're gonna actually drive this up this little cliff as far as we can, we'll winch out and I'll hook the hooks. But the problem is, is if that starts coming, you've got 10 feet to a drop off. Hold if on. You start dropping off, yeah, spool out. Hold on. Hold on and spool out. You're in a roll cage, I'm not. This could go bad in a hurry. Once we get it to this point, then we'll 
back up and we'll winch it over. We'll get the tires down here and then we'll back off and we'll winch it around to get it flat. Okay. Hey Steve, it's just like doing the dump trailers, the side dumps. Yeah. Oh, and then it spikes into the ground. That is such a cool piece of equipment. Why is that not wanting to go on? You gotta push. I'm, I'm pushing with all my little baby might. Use my might and push. So get out and do it. I can't. It literally is not wanting to go. We don't want to play it safe. As you said, we can play it safe and anchor down and pull it to it, but then it'll be a real big crash. Come on, use your big might, big boy might. Guys, it feels like something's wrong with it. Does it have no gas in it? <laughs> Ain't got no gas in it. There you go. Look at you. Think it was just stuck with some dirt? That's what I'm thinking. Well, there you go. It's just got brute force. So I'm gonna have Hillbilly drive this up, then I'll get in front of it and I'll grab that cable. I'll hook it and I'm just gonna get in the truck. The brake pedal's all the way to the floor, but I was able to put it in park and I was able to put the e-brake on. I guess the guy that was driving this, it was super late at night, was headed up the canyon or I don't know. He must've been coming down cause he, it came off the cliff. So he must've been coming down, set his brake pedal, just went all the way to the floor. He tried to put it in park. Well, it ain't gonna go into park while it's moving. So it hit reverse. He bailed and the truck came down the hill. Looks like that wouldn't have been very fun. So get lined up and then just go as far as you can. Do you think that angle's okay, or should we just anchor it and winch it to you? Well, with me being right here. I would winch it to you. So we're gonna change plans. Let's just get that anchored in. At least this way we can be solid somewhat. Yeah, let's do that right there. Okay, hold it. Start winching the cable out. I gotta try to figure out how to get through here. Hey, we're, we're putting this to use again. It's a forestry winch. We're using it to take some limbs out. Hold it. All right, don't winch it in until I'm in it. Let's take the slack out of it. We'll want to rewind this after. I'm not sure how we're going to communicate. Yeah, walk talk is up in the truck. Okay, so I'm going to get up in the truck and we're just going to hope things don't go bad. We decided to anchor the skid loader in. That way, if the truck does come, it's going to hit the skid loader. But we're going to see what it does. If I need a stop, I'll tell Hillbilly to stop. And he probably won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. I drove in a derby Saturday night, so this shouldn't be any worse. Just don't jump, uh, jump off the top. Okay, I'm hopping in. This has a flat tire, I just noticed also, Hillbilly. Does it? So that might be to our advantage. Seatbelt's locked, so I ain't using seatbelts. Can you hear me? Yeah, is there keys? Keys, yeah, it's on the on position. Just start winching a tiny bit. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Little more. Let me see if my tires are dragging. Hold on. Little more. Hey, hold it, hold it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you got brakes? I don't know. Did you push them? I'm, no, the brakes are to the floor. I'm, I'm pushing the e-brake and it's in park. Ask Steve to look at the back wheels and see if they're dragging or spinning. Go, go shoddy. It's your birthday. Okay, see what Steve has to say. Dragging. Okay, go, cool. go. Let's just get the sucker off. How we looking? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, did I hit you? No. Okay, then back up, winch out and back up a little. This is so cool. All right, hold it there. Okay, go a little. This is, once this goes, it's gonna go. Good, go. Go, go. Okay, hold it, stop. Yep. It did what I thought it was gonna do. I didn't move. I know, that's fine. It did what I knew it was gonna do. Back up. Don't let it push you off. Okay, so it did what I thought it was gonna do, which is fine. Everything's good. Lines are still good. Okay, so back up. We're still hooked even. Okay, hold on. Let me unhook. Barely hooked. Nope, we're, we're good. So, hold up, hold up. Yep, just spin in place. Okay, back up. This is gonna work. So what we gotta do now, you need to get all the way over and I'm gonna hook up and it's gonna try to, so get back all the way up there. Well, we got a little bit of damage to this, but that's what that guard's for. This is bent a little, but everything's safe. Cool, okay, winch me out. 
I'm gonna hook to that other side so it wants to force me down. That wasn't so bad. Okay, winch it in. Hold it, let me go get in, hold on. If it wants to roll it, stop. Can you turn your wheel at all? As you're going, go. This is gonna get weird here in about two seconds. Okay, hold on, stop. Lift your bucket, start backing up with me. Go and do not stop until we're on flat ground. truck is messed up dude it'll buff out well good news we didn't roll it now what we got to do is figure out we can take it out of gear we can at least get it rolling and i can just use the e-brake to kind of stop it and keep going but what we're going to do is we'll flip him around and we'll just hook our rope up and pull him out this is going to be a total ain't it yeah oh yeah i'll bet the motor's junk do you think we can swap beds with, with my truck bed and they won't notice no we can't steal from customers hillbilly that's, that's a, why we that's swap a big no no swap beds big no no we're going to winch this cable in or reel this cable in flip it around we're going to hook our yankum rope up and we're going to pull this thing out we'll stop and grab the forks so put these we probably put these put on, on the bed yes. yeah absolutely and we're just going to try to get this thing out of here we got a flat tire against us just one flat we'll get the wheels rolling We'll get no it breaks. out of park. We'll get, yeah, no brakes, but I think we'll be good. The hard part's done. We didn't go down the cliff. It turned like we wanted. Nice. That's noise. Nice. And we only sustained a little bit of damage to the guard. Okay, hold it. Whoop. Perfect. Let's just flip around and hook up. We'll use the jump box to at least get it out of gear. That's why we brought the jump box. Because all these new vehicles, they've got electronic park lockout. So we'll jump it and we'll hopefully be on our way out. So let's go through, okay. yeah, we'll make a V. Should we make a V through this? Well, let's just V it. No, it'll go through that. Should. Here we go. Then we'll stay short. Oh. Robbie. Huh? Are you using the big Python? No. From the camera inside, it looks like it. Yeah, seven eighths rope by 20 feet. Okay, hold it. Let's. Let's get the jumper on this to get it out of gear. Then as we're headed out, I need to be guided. Look at that, the battery, battery cable came off. Oh, hold on, hold on. This was taken off. Battery cables were taken off. That's odd. There's power, the battery cables were taken off. Here, that's fine, it's out of gear. I'm gonna roll the window down. Well, that's kind of odd. Both battery cables were off. Is it gonna start? No, but both battery cables were unhooked and there's power. So is it gonna start? No, it just click, 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 click. That sucker broke off, that ear. Oh yeah. But that's like missing a nut. People are all up here robbing parts, look. This is so odd. So it might not start because people have been robbing parts. Well, that's loose. The battery's loose. The cables were off. That's unhooked, whatever it goes to. So, the nut was off the master cylinder, but that side's broken, but if a nut's taken off, of course the pressure's gonna break that. That's weird. That nut's off, that one's broke. Master cylinder's here. So yeah, they they lost the brakes, for show. Sure. Okay, well, let's pull this thing out of here. Can you hear me, hillbilly? Elk. Moose. Here, tell him to start going. You're just gonna have to communicate. I'm not getting, he's not connecting. Are all, all the wheels spinning? This side, this side is. Cool. Everything seems to be going pretty good. We're getting to the sketchy spot. Hopefully we don't fall off. But we got Steve guiding me and Hillbilly. So our forks are in the way. We should probably unhook, have him take the winch up there, get the forks on, and then we'll go back and get the winch here in a minute. 
So far, things are going pretty good. We've got to move the forks so that we can get past. We've got to stay on the high side right here because there's a little ravine that we really don't want to go down. So we're going to take the winch and go dump it over there, grab the forks, hook the forks back up to the skid loader, and then we'll grab the winch box here in a minute. We're about halfway through. I can see the cop up there sitting. It's all you. I ain't blowing my back out. Be a man. Blow your back out. That's why we bought an expensive skid loader. So you don't have to get out and hook it up. Do that little dance over there again. What? Do a spinny there, so it'll kind of knock it down. Okay. When we go, go. Don't yeah. stop. If it starts coming down, get out of the way. Uh, like full throttle? Yeah, like if, when we get in there, just have him go. Go, 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 go! Don't stop! Oh. We made it. Do you have a horn, Robbie? No, nothing. Oh, he's still going. <laughs> this wheel's dragging now. I'm an idiot and had the e-brake on. It was in park, yeah. Yeah. The e-brake was on until now. But you know what? We made it, we didn't die. That was the sketchiest spot of, well, the second sketchiest spot. So now we just have to get past a few little rocks. So the track is starting to walk off to the inside. So we're gonna try to back it up and Get it back on, but go, go slow. Okay, hold it, whoa. It's off, like, it's off on the inside. Should we take a fork off and try to pry? We can. Pull it forward where we can be flat. So before we destroy this completely, we're gonna try to get up here and put the track back on. It's going on, it's walking, you're on. Okay, we're back on. Disaster averted, track is back on. We're gonna get the rope all lengthened. I'm gonna pull this one out and then we'll just, we'll, we'll hook to this one with a soft shackle. Yep. So we're gonna lengthen this just so we can get a little bit away, get him forward. I'm gonna have to run over some rocks. So we let the cop go home. Go. Cause we're not using the main road anymore. So he doesn't need to be up here to do traffic control. That could have been a disaster. Luckily we avoided it. What do you think Demery? You loving it? Just loving it. She's just loving it. And the Bolts and Nuts guys are loving it. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day. What more could you ask for? Let's get this yanked out of here. All right, we're good. Let's hit it. All right, seems like things are going good. Just running branches over, but we're making it. Not too bad now, we're, we're really off-roading now. I keep checking my mirrors as if it matters. <laughs> Jeez. Going out the tow mirrors. Yeah. And they're extended out or we'd be in trouble. How's that track doing? So we're going to take the rope and cut it in half so we don't have so much distance. That way it's not going to want to try to pull me off of this little hill. Cliff. Singy. Zero brakes. No brakes. No brakes. <laughs> run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Just go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <laughs> well, that was fun. Woo! That got a little bit exciting. Let's unhook the yank them and just push on the back of the truck because that's downhill you can coast. Okay. So we got a roller coaster over here. 
So we're just gonna push it off the edge and hope for the best, but Hillbilly is gonna be behind me, not pulling. He's gonna be pushing. We're just gonna do it and hope for the best. I had no brakes coming through there, so that was exciting. That was really fun. Um, but what we'll do, let's just, can we get a tow truck down here or do we need to push this up? We can get a tow truck to there. You might have to go down a little bit more and flip around, but you should be able to make the turn. When you're walking out, check it out, and I'm sure you can make the turn. All right, so we'll just go to the bottom, and then you go get a truck. We need the freight liner. All right, let's do this. Bye. <laughs> See you at the bottom. <laughs> Woo! That was cool! <laughs> Can we do it again? I didn't think I was going to be able to grab that e-brake. That was exciting. That was really bouncy. But you know what? We made it to the bottom, so we're going to be able to get the tow truck to right here and load this thing up. So Hillbilly's going to drop the forks and run back up and get the winch. Hey, how bumpy was that ride? Right. That was awesome! How bumpy? It was so bumpy. Back tire came off grandma this high. I wish I would have had a camera inside. You should have been in there. Next time. <laughs> Let's do it again. Winch it up. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, we didn't get the shot. Let's go do it again. You're crazy. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I did. I could feel it bounce. Cool. Up. We'll be doing a recovery of our tow truck. We've done that multiple times. But he's going to get the winch, load it on the forks, take it up and load it on the F550. We're loading this truck on the Freightliner, and then we're out of here. All right, so don't forget, you guys can click the link in the description or in the pinned comment, head over to Onyx Off Road, download the app, and use Late and 20 for 20% 20 off. It's a long truck. We're going to hurry and strap it down and that'll be it. So we just got done with a successful recovery. So we want to say thank you to the Bolts and Nuts guys, Andy and Gary. If you guys want to see their perspective of this video, head over to Andy the Bolt Guy on YouTube and check out his video. As always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.